1994 Toyota pickup, valve cover, belts. Yep, one of the belts went to the bad. Um, we're going to be changing on some antifreeze. Yeah, it's probably going to be bad because it's only 400 degrees out here. Got my air conditioner all the way on bankruptcy mode. I'll hang out. All right, here we go. We're gonna change on these belts. We got three of them. We got the old, that looks like, uh, if I had to make a guess, that's old power steering. We got AC. And then down there in the bottom, we got us a uh, alternator. Well, the alternator belt, yep. She, um, she went to the bad. So that's what brought this truck into us to begin with. Uh, we got to change on the uh, valve cover gasket. It shouldn't be too bad. Somebody's worked on it before. They got all these little things numbered uh, where all these things go. So we're probably going to put them all back different. Anyhow, we're going to get on it and see how, uh, how aggravating these uh, bolts are to get out. You know the old Toyota's been around for a while. Shine some light down in here for y'all. So we can find some way to plop the old hobo freight flashlight get it out y'all's way here i've raced against a lot of these old 22rs in my day and uh been beat by quite a few of them too but yeah most of these this is the old power steering line line belt stupid uh this is the one that's in the front so this would be the the one that's gonna have to go on last we're gonna get her somebody has done some yellow spray painting on there all right take this one off it'd be a nice spare she's cracked up a little bit but anyhow we're gonna set it over to the side yeah y'all see this pulley right down there Whoop. come on clear up y'all see that pulley right down there yep we're gonna loosen up that and it's got the adjustment on the back side and um we're gonna get that one off Yeah, we've got, I think that's one. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see if we can figure out what belts is what. All right, let's see if we can figure out which one's which. This was the first one we took off, I think. Yep. This is the first one we took off. Looks like it may match up to this one. And it does. So that's that one. That was the power steering pump. So the big long was the power steering pump. Then we've got a 7345 and a 9341. Mm -hmm. This one is the AC compressor. Oh. Yep. And this, this little one, this is actually a different size. It's narrower. This goes to the alternator. So, AC, AC, alternator. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's probably the right one. All right. So, first one we need to go back with, I think it's the alternator. Y'all hang out. All right, yep, that back groove and the alternator groove is definitely a smaller belt. We're going to try to squeak her on down there. Uh oh. That means we've got to feed her on in there like this. There we go. So we'll go up underneath here. Over top the old. 
the water pump down around there and around the alternator. Ta da! Let's double check how tight it is. Oh, yeah, not too tight, just right. All right, as my oldest son used to say, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Now for the next one. Y'all fellas is screaming in my ear, I know. It's the AC belt, because the old power steering pump goes on last. So, the AC belt was the short one. See, we had fat ones and skinny ones. This is the short fat one. It's the old AC. Boop, 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 boop. Well, we'll put it on there. She's going she looks like she might be going to give a fuss, but I'm going to have to go up underneath to pull that down. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on with it. Mm -hmm. Come on there, baby. Mm -hmm. You know you want. Yes, you want. You hear me? Oh, it over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There she is. All you got to do on this fella is run this up just fairly tight so it ain't got no play in it, but not tight, tight. All right. That's all that needs to it there. Now for the last and final. Power steering belt. And it goes around the old fan. She don't ride on it. But she goes around it. Fellas, you can just turn this fan right around and she gets right on there. And she's going to run down low. Now, that bottom adjuster works just like this one. Okay? All you do is you take this, this nut. Right here, you run it up. Not tight, but where it don't got no play in it. Like that. Then this is where your belt adjuster comes in. And you'll see how this old girl works. She's going to pull this up. I think that's probably sufficient. I don't want them too tight. And then you just tighten up on this old girl. Just like that. Now she's tight. Good to go. There's your belts, guys. All right. The old, the old radiator has a drain cock on it, but she's tight. <laughs> I want to get on it, but I can't. Oh. Oh, that is like swamp water coming out of that thing. That's what the, the shuttlecock was right there. They just screwed it right on out. We'll put it somewhere where I'll lose it. Okay, we're going to take some radiator hoses off. Like that. You can twist these. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a little sticky. That's the top one. Said it's got two bottoms. And they is sure right. Mm, that thing's like it's gonna be aggravating to get to. I see. Said the blind man. Let's see if I can get in there with these. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got my peepers on. That always is a plus when you can see it, fellas. There it is. Hot dog. Love it when a plan comes together. Yes, you are. You hear me? Get on out of that. Ow, ow. Okay. We might need the old hillbilly stick in there again.
You know, yep, mm -hmm. yes, you won't. <clears throat> I told you, I told you you was coming out. There's your top one, fellas. Top one went just like that. Now, it's got three radiator hoses. It's got one on the top. One on the top bottom, and then one on the bottom bottom. I bet the thermostat looks cruddy. Oh! You can snap on ratchet all the reverses when you pop stuff loose. Oh yeah, she come from Japan like that. That thing hadn't been out day one. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I want to see what she looks like. Oh. She might still be good, but she has got some. You can heat this up with a torch, fellas, and see if see if it's gonna work. But this thing is so cruddy. I'm just gonna put a new one in. I think they're 10 bucks. There's the bottom one. Not bad. Oh man, I think I laid my head in some antifreeze. Let's flush on this old girl. All right, get your old garden hose out. I'm gonna try to force some water out up top. Y'all holler if any comes out. Yep, sprayed myself. Radiator's flush though. She don't need you block. Get flush on her. Mm -hmm. She's clearing up a little bit. Ready? Go! Now we need to see if these old hoses match up. Let's see if they match up. This is what they give me. Mm -hmm. I think that one may work for for that one. Yep. This one for that one. And, yeah, we had to whack her off, but she worked. I don't like leaving these things on here. I think they look tacky. As long as they cool off good. Easy. Easy. Go faster. Easy. Yes, you are. All right. Well, this upper lower radiator hose goes up over top the just over top of the alternator down there. Plugs in. It's just barely underneath this bracket. You can't see it, but it's right there from here to here. And then this lower um, hose is like a it's like a steel pipe that runs around the motor mount, and then the the next one runs from the bottom of that back to the radiator. So. Um, this one is the one they gave me. I'm pretty sure it's going to work. But what I'm going to have to do is trim her off. So I'm going to trim her. Yep, after she falls, hits the floor. I'm going to trim her right here. Yep. 
don't like that. I'm gonna stick it up on there. I'm gonna try to clamp these and slide it up on, but you're not gonna be able to see it. But this is what I'm gonna be working with, y'all. Like this. I'm squinch it. Run it up in there. That's the plan. Okay, that one's all the way on there. Let's see if we can get the back side of it on this where it's supposed to go. She's on there. That's half the battle. The rest of the battle is get these old clamps on there. So here it goes. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, it's on there, but I need to need to back it up just a little bit. Oh yes, beautiful. Well, the most aggravating one out of every one of them is on. So let's get these other ones. Shouldn't be as bad. Oh, there it is. I knew that one was gonna be as bad. I think this one needs a little trimming too, so we're gonna cut her to the right length. I think we'll cut it right there at the, at the old. That's why they put it there, probably, right? Cut it a little long. You never add back to it. Never cut toward yourself, fellas. Okay. I think that'll work. Always make sure you flush a bunch of water down on the ground so when you're down here doing this, you just roll it all in the mud. That's always the, the best thing to do. And then, right in the old nostril. Right in the old nostril. Right in the old nostril again. What the world? There's money right there, son. Oh. Ow. Ow. Well, I got antifreeze in my eyeballs. It run in my nose. So I feel like I'm gurgling old antifreeze with rusty water. <laughs> Tastes like antifreeze to me. Antifreeze is sweet, by the way. Um, all that's doing under there. All we got left is this top one here. I don't think we're going to have to trim on this one. She sits right about there. Oh, she went down under, like the uh, Australia. She went down under because the old air pipe, those old air pipes, got to go out right there. This one here, it's gonna go like this. We're gonna put that one on. Let's put it over to the side. They gonna catch your arm on it. They're working on it. Yep, I'm gonna go clean on this a little bit, I think. Old peeper protectors on. <laughs> there we go, just like new. Well, we'll get started on the old valve cover. I don't think she's gonna be too bad. We'll take this off, kind of flop her back.
It's underside of a old 22R. Mm-hmm. She was leaking. No doubt she was leaking. Yep. All right, I'm going to go wash on this. All right, all I'm going to do is put a thin little layer of silicone underneath there. Just like that. But ain't no problem. Ain't no no thing. Make sure they stay in place when you set this valve cover down on there. Very important to make sure it stays in place. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start finagling the old valve cover back in there. Without tearing up too much stuff. She went. Now I'm gonna feel on that with my old feelers. Yep, she went where she was supposed to. This front one went where it was supposed to. Now we've got these new grommets. Don't get the valve cover that ain't got these new grommets. You need on them grommets. That. That. Start these on there. We're pretty much done, fellas. At least with the valve cover. Oh, this truck. These Toyota trucks. Good little trucks. If you don't believe they're good little trucks, watch Whistling Diesel's channel. Toyota Hilux. No. Uh, yep. So we're tightening these on down. Supposed to. Come on. Bring some of this stuff back in place. Just make sure none of this stuff got unhooked in the process. Yeah, most of this stuff is just pretty simple. This thing should flip right back over. Pull that one out, so we'll stick it back in. Yep. This sticks right up on there. One, two, three. Good job, Toyota. Good job. I'm gonna try try to pressure wash on this thing a little bit, just cause the old leaky valve cover. Plugged on. That goes on. That plugs on. Yep. That's all there is to it. Make sure all these vacuum lines, take a picture of these things, label them, do something. Because I would be willing to bet if you got them things out of whack, she probably wouldn't, wouldn't do like she's supposed to. She'd probably give a little trouble. So, let's make sure we got all that back in place. Looks pretty good and solid. We're cleaning this old 
housing out. Got the new thermostat here. Always make sure your spring goes to your block. So she's going to sit right down in there like that. That way the, the heat from the old block will, will let her get hot. We're going to try to sneak her in here sideways. And see what happens. Not too shabby. She needed that system flushed on too. Because she was filthy. Okay. There you go. Got that tight. Now we're going to stick those hose back on there. Just like so. Make sure. Make sure she's good on there. Good. Good on there. We'll make sure that this clamp goes back up on there. Just like so. All right, what we got left is this, this thing right here. And all she does, I took it off before y'all ever seen her work on it, I think. And she pops on. This pops on. We put the shuttlecock back in the bottom. We got the bottom radiator hose on. We got the valve cover replaced. We're gonna put some old green goo back in her. coming along with this journey we changed the valve cover we changed all the radiator hoses we changed the thermostat we flushed everything out we flushed the engine block we flushed the radiator we just did a bunch of stuff here and there was a bunch of stuff giving trouble there was even some stuff that had gone to the bad so remember until next time if she's giving trouble she's going to the bad <music>